First challenges. In 1999, Mr. Zahimi found out that most Muslims complained about the status of a soap used, because mostly soap at the market contains lard or pork fat. So Mr. Zahimi decided to sell his car and his belongings to gain 30,000 ringgit, and he invests his money to create his own soap business, a halal soap. However, Several years later his halal soap are decreasing in sales due to the competition with large firms that also produce the same type of soap. Mr. Sahimi faces a big losses. This incident forced him to shut down the business. The solution he made. After Mr. Sahimi failed his first business, he then turns to sell fruits from his home. The fruit he sell could support his family and him for several years. At the same time Mr. Zahimi create another plan to create another business, because he believed that should go better than stay in a comfort zone. Second Challenges In 2007, Mr. Zahimi start closing his two business, his mini market and his frozen market. This is not an ending of his business career, but this is just a start up for Mr. Zahimi to achieve a better position. Mr. Zahimi sold his two shops to rent a single locked factory, the factory is only used for keeping stocks, while he planned another business. In 2010, he began expanding his business by producing black pepper sauce, food paste and instant noodle. He then entered the groceries for a trial. However, Mr. Zahimi's product were unreasonably rejected. The shopkeeper claimed that Mr. Zahimi's product is infamous, and people not even know the existence of his product. Also, there are some shopkeeper refused to pay the sold product to Mr. Sahimi. This problem make Mr. Sahimi not to market his product at any groceries anymore. The solution he made. Knowing that his product have an issue with groceries. He then decided to market the product at frozen food traders. Mr. Sahimi put a burger seller as his main customer and he package and sell his product in kilogram so he can receive fast cash cycle. Third challenges. Starting the 1st of April 2015, Malaysia start implementing good and service tax GST. Replacing the old sales and service tax SST. The GST rate is 6% compared to SST rate 5 to 15%. This GST tax creates problem to Mr. Zahimi. One day he late to pay collected GST on time. Because of that, Mr. Zahimi was fined 10% from total amount of collected GST. In example, in a month collected GST is 30,000 ringgit, plus 10% fined it will be 33,000 ringgit. Mr. Zahimi just lost 3,000 ringgit and he need to sell 3,000 unit more product to cover up the losses. This fine keep increasing every month based on unpaid amount of GST. The solution he made. Knowing that he could not manage to pay that large amount of money, Mr. Sahimi then decided to bring the case to the court and ask for any consideration from the judge for him to pay those fined. 